right, guys, so I'm going to take a look at how to customize Windows 11 to make it look a little bit different or better than it does when it comes out of the box. So when you install Windows 11, it comes with a default theme, and that theme is, isn't bad per se, but it can be a little bit drab if you stare at it all the time every day. And so there's a lot of tools that you can use to customize the UX inside of Windows 11 and a lot of third-party tools that you can install as well. So what I want to do is look at the experience that you can get with Windows out of the box. Then I'll look at three other tools that you can use to customize Windows 11. So right here, I have a fairly stock version of Windows 11 running inside of a virtual machine. And a lot of the tools are built right into this. And most people are gonna know about these. You can right click on the desktop and then go to personalize. Now I've already installed a few themes, but themes are one of the quickest and easiest ways to tweak the layout and look of Windows 11. So you just click on themes. You'll need an activated version of Windows, but then you can click Browse Themes right here, and that'll bring up the Windows Store. Now, the Windows Store has a lot of themes that you can just download, and they just show up. So if you want to you know, pick one of these, if I type in Windows Themes here, and um, it'll show me a bunch of Windows themes. Like, this one looks kind of neat, neat right here. I think I've already got this one uh, previously, and uh, it's a really nice theme. And uh, it's just, you know, beach photos that you know have a nice uh, landscape photography and uh, when you set this one it will just apply the backgrounds and then it'll also apply a color scheme to your uh, desktop that will generally match what's ever in the photo so you have uh, a very quick and easy way to tweak the UI just using these photos and also the color schemes that come with the themes so Themes are a great way to do this. I uh, have used themes on practically every machine that I install. So one of the first things I do is just get a new theme because the one that comes with Windows 11 is kind of drab in my opinion because it's so common and I see it all the time. So I just like to have something that's a little bit fresher and uh, a theme is a quick way to do that. They're free and, or at least a lot of them are free. Some of them do cost money, but you can get other ones as well. So with that in mind, let's look at the second tool which is a tool that allows us to tweak things down here on the taskbar called Retrobar. So Retrobar is a fairly easy to use tool as well. It's free open source software that you can get off of GitHub and I'll put a link in the video description down below. You can definitely check that out. But once you have Retrobar extracted, it's just a executable that you can then run. Uh, the executable is pretty straightforward. So you load it up and it looks something like this whenever you apply one of the available taskbars. So you to change the settings on this, just go to properties and this little window right here will allow you to change the properties of the retro bar if you wanna use something that is a little bit more nostalgic. For instance, if you wanted to use something like Windows 95 or Windows 98, you could choose a very classic looking start menu. It's still going to have the modern menu right here. And we'll look at a way to tweak that in a moment, but it still gives you the taskbar that looks like that old gray Windows 95, Windows 98 taskbar. If you like one of these other ones like Windows XP Blue, this is very much like what you'd see in Windows XP, or you can use one of these other ones that are more arrow-like, that are more the glassy look that came with Windows Vista and beyond. So you can choose Windows Longhorn Arrow. I actually kind of like this one. This one I think is a really nice looking uh, bar right here. But if you like the Vista one, which isn't too bad as well, uh, it's got the orb and then it's got a glassy looking taskbar down here as well. Some other things about this one, uh, you can use this to increase or decrease the size of it, which is kind of nice. Um, you can decrease the size of the default Windows 11 bar, which I don't uh, care for that much, honestly, when it's small uh, on a small screen. So if I'm using a laptop, like a 14 inch laptop, the amount of real estate that it uses on the screen seems a little bit out of whack for the size of the screen. But when you resize it, it just becomes hard to use. But this one allows you to resize it and it resizes everything pretty much proportionately. Uh, so I do like it for that reason. Uh, the taskbar on this one does give you a lot of options for locking it, which are pretty standard uh, type operations that you can do on the taskbar. And if you want to show the clock, you can uh, show that. You can do uh, all those kinds of things that you would otherwise be able to do with uh, the taskbar. So retro uh, bar is more basic in its approach, but in any case, it's just a real easy and quick way to change the taskbar, which if you don't like 
uh, the default taskbar on Windows 11 and you want to get something that's more retro, this is certainly an easy way to tweak it. But I'm gonna look at another tool and it's called OpenShell. And OpenShell gives you not only the ability to tweak the taskbar, but it also gives you the ability to tweak the start menu as well. So the next app I wanna look at is this one right here. It's called OpenShell. Now I've been using OpenShell for quite a while off and on over the years. And it was originally written as a program called Classic Shell, which was designed to replace the tile menu screen that came with Windows 8 that everybody really hated. And so they wanted a way to get the start menu back. So uh, Classic Shell was written to give you basically Windows 7 style menus in Windows 8 without having to use that awful tile window start menu thing they had going on. This one uh, basically just replaced it with the Windows style menu, but they've added other options to it over the years and they renamed it to Open Shell because it gives you a lot more ability to customize things about the UI using this little application. So this program is pretty straightforward and easy to use. Um, basically, you would come to the start menu style and you can choose one of the three defaults here. They have the classic style, which is more like you would you would get with something like Windows 95, Windows 98, or even Windows 2000. Um, it's pretty straightforward and it has these cascading menus for apps and programs and the like. And so it's a very old school way of doing this kinds of things. But again, a very useful uh, menu if you're liking that older style menu. I like the Windows 7 uh, style right here. It's pretty straightforward, but you don't have to live with this look right here. This looks like more like Windows 10 uh, in this presentation. But if you wanted to change it, uh, you basically just pick whichever style you want. And then you can come over here and then select the skin. And it gives you the ability to uh, tweak it. And so each one of these is going to have a different skin you can apply to it. So this immersive one is more like the Windows 10. If you want, if you like the Windows 8 one, uh, you can have the Windows 8 looking uh, one that was replaced in Windows 8.1. I like the Windows arrow look. This one was uh, the one that came with Windows 7. And it's got the glassier look for it that you typically had with uh, Windows arrow in Windows 7. And if you like the... Uh, basic ones. Uh, it's got this one that looks like this. Uh, it's called Midnight. And then this you know, classic skin, which is that uh, Windows 2000 look or that Windows basic look uh, if you're using Vista basic. So those are three that you get with this particular menu. But this one also has a different ones that you can choose as well. So I, I kind of like this one right here called Full Glass. Um, it looks uh, a little glassier than what you would get with something like uh, the theme that we just saw called Windows Arrow. So this one's uh, more traditional, but this one's uh, kind of nice. And you have more transparency, less transparency, and so on that you can you know, tweak it. And then you can also change uh, the font size. And uh, if you want to use large fonts and so on, you get bigger fonts and a lot of uh, different tweaks that you can do to it. I mean, again, pick a style and then you can tweak the skin that you want to use with it. So if you like XP Luna, of course, this is going to look like a Windows XP menu, which doesn't exactly work with uh, this theme. But if you use retro bar and selected the XP uh, menu and then chose this to look like XP Luna, of course, you would have that classic XP look. But in all cases, you have the ability to change it. Now, this application also can tweak things about the taskbar as well on the taskbar tab right here. And so the taskbar will give you basically three options. So you can choose uh, opaque, uh, transparent, or opacity or glass. And so if you want to do a glass, you can say 100, uh, tweak it, and it has none, or you can go down to like you know, maybe 10 and um, get a high transparency for that. If you like that kind of look, um, I kind of like it like that. You know, the 10% 10, 10 transparency, it's got a nice, just uh, no color to it, but it's uh, just a transparent bar and then uh, you know, kind of blurs in the background. If you just like the transparent look, it's just kind of tinted. And of course, opaque, uh, it's not going to have any tint to it. So uh, some things that you can tweak with this, um, if you like doing that kind of thing, I like to uh, use this to change this up a little bit just to make it look a little bit better, in my opinion, uh, with that uh, lower or transparency or that more opacity to it rather than a darker color. And then uh, of course you can change other things that I'm not gonna cover all of this, but you can change like the search box, the menu look, uh, like font sizes and the animations and so on. 
Uh, you can change the start button if you want to. You can do um, different kinds of things, different tweets in the UI. And of course you can change sound and other options as well. But all in all, this is mainly focused on the taskbar and the menu right here. And so if you want to tweak things, you can definitely use this app to do that. Now, I do wanna look at one other app that's going to get more into the bowels of Windows 11. Uh, it will allow you to change some other things that I wanna look at. It's called WinArrow Tweaker, which is a utility that exposes all kinds of things. And we can just kind of click through that to show you what it's capable of. And there's quite a bit. So let's just get that app up and we'll take a look at it. So this is WinArrow Tweaker. It's a pretty straightforward little application. You just have a bunch of options that you can change. And again, I'm, there's no way I could, def I could go through all of these, but you will see that you can customize all kinds of things with uh, this little application. So certainly one that you wanna get, it's got a lot of different things that you can use uh, to tweak different kinds of things inside of Windows, even downloading some of the classic uh, apps that you can get. So let's just go through some of the ones that I like to use here or have used in the past. Now, one is uh, this uh, classic full context menu. Uh, open this up, enable classic full context menu. Now, the, the context menu is the right click menu that you get with Windows. Now, in Windows 11, they introduced a shorter version of the context menu that had a fewer options than this. I like the classic one, so I enable the classic context menu because it gives you all of these options that I'm used to having. It's just because I've been using Windows forever, it's just nice to have it. So that's a great way to uh, enable that and get it back if you like it. So another thing that you can use is this little guy, uh, classic taskbar that's not retro bar. This will give you something that's more like Windows 10 uh, or Windows uh, 7. It's gonna have a taskbar that's gonna be similar to that, more like Windows 10 probably. Uh, it's going So these are three utilities that I have found useful for tweaking Windows 10 and other things about Windows 11. And you can certainly download these to your PC and tweak them. I'll put links in the video description down below for the downloads for these utilities and you can use them to customize your Windows experience. Like a few of these, like I said, I've been using for years, like the open shell, I've, I've been using that since the window, Windows 8 days. Now, if you wanna pay for some software that does something similar to this, you can get something like Window Blinds from Stardog. I used to use that way back in the Windows XP days, but I haven't touched it in years, so I really have no idea what it's capable of. But if you do, certainly tell me all about it in the comment section down below. Or if there's another utility that you like to use to customize the Windows experience, you can certainly um, drop a comment in the comment section down below about that utility. And there are a lot of videos online that will teach you how to make your Windows experience look like Mac OS or make it look like Windows 7 or Windows XP. And there's a lot of things that you can do with it that will customize the entire experience to make it look like whatever you want it to. That's basically the end game. I just like to customize the things that I've been looking at just to make it look like something other than the stock experience that you get with Windows 11 because it's kind of drab. You install a Windows 11, it's the one that you see all the time, very common, and it kind of gets boring after a while. So just changing it up every now and then is just something to do to give you something to look at and something that's not so boring. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe and also comment in the comments section down below if you like this kind of content. I'll certainly do more if this, there's interest in it and other kinds of tweaking with Windows 11 or Windows 10, whatever it might be. In all cases, uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on a future video. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also like this content by clicking on the thumbs up or share this content with your friends and also comment in the comment section down below. You can also find me online at www.blaze.net or on Twitter at The One Mule. And as always, thanks for watching.